Okay, hi Libra, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings. Tarot from Hearts. We're going to do uh, your week ahead reading for you. Um, yeah, we're going to do your week ahead reading for you. And uh, this is from the 12th to the 18th of August 2019. We're doing the weekly check in, so we use the Tarot Wonderland by Barbara Moore and also another Barbara Moore deck, the Tarot of the Hidden Realm and also the uh, Fae Tarot with advice, spiritual advice from the Angel Answers deck, and that'll be for your first reading. It's nine areas that we look at. I always like to use different decks. I, thought, I think it's fun. Uh, for your second reading, which is the 15 card reading, just looking at other general energies coming in, love, work, finance, we use the Everyday Enchantment Arrow, um, arrow Tarot by Poppy Palin. Uh, spiritual advice in the love area by the Angel Oracle cards, Doreen Virtue. Work area spiritual advice, we're looking at the Angels of Abundance. And also, uh, for the general area, we use the Tea Leaf Fortune cards for spiritual advice. Okay, that's it. Let's get shuffling. Okay, Libra, the cards are out. We're going to put the Angel Advice cards here, okay, because... Uh, I'm not putting them out just yet until I've done the reading, all right? It's just easier to do it that way because I have to do a string of, uh, you know, a sentence for you. Okay, who are you in the week then, Libra? You are showing as being, oh, wow, the star. Nice. Some of you guys are being recognised by others with the star energy. Some of you guys are visualising, perhaps you're using law of attraction to attract things in. Uh, I don't feel that this particular star, even though stars can mean vulnerability, you might be feeling slightly vulnerable. You're not completely naked. For me, not being completely naked on the star energy means not being completely vulnerable, but partially vulnerable, uh, potentially. But then we don't see anybody pouring water out or emotions. So, And you're also shrouded in stars. So it's almost like, I feel that some few guys, it almost feels pretty much as a... Almost like you're rising to another kind of spiritual dimension. And I feel that also there's almost feels like you're breathing out stars or you're uh, taking a breath of relief. It almost feels like you are reaching a point where you have achieved some form of clarity because the star also means to achieve the ultimate clarity. Uh, so I feel that there's a lot. Of, and I think that it's all positive, to be honest with you, Libra, here, where some of you guys are gaining recognition. Some of you guys might be feeling partially vulnerable but not all of you is feeling vulnerable because you're partly clothed but I feel that more than anything with the star energy some of you guys have reached a point of recognition of the self I feel that there is a great deal of self-awareness here I feel with the star energy what's going on this week for you guys is that you are filled with inspiration you might be inspired uh, to take action even though the star isn't an action card it's all about dreams coming true I feel that some of you guys are really getting in touch and connected with your dreams and your hopes and your wishes with the star energy showing here and I feel that you guys might be praying quite a bit as well with that star energy I really do feel that you're connecting in terms of meditation as well with the universe I'm seeing a strong very connective energy going on here especially with the universe here so I feel that some of you guys might be doing a lot of meditation and as I've, as I've said law of attraction stuff but also don't forget the star is where you're being recognized and some of you guys might be Focusing on what your star is, focusing on what your dreams and wishes are during the week, Libra. What is the theme for the week? Uh, theme of the week is, yeah, the Knight of Swords energy. So the theme of the week is, no, sorry, it's the King of Swords energy is the theme of the week. I feel that this is all about your objective. Can you see how he's got his hand on the, on the wall? It's almost like, I will... There's, a, there's something quite firm about I love this version of the King of Swords. It's beautiful. Everything's very angular. Looks amazing. But the way he's clenching his fists is with determination and conviction. So the theme of the week might be about your convictions and your objectives. But when you get kings, I mean, it could be a person, yes. It definitely could be Libra. And But this is Libra, Gemini, uh, Aquarius energy anyway. Uh, you know, in a general reading. So this is about you. This is about you, the, you know, you having the courage of your convictions with the King of Swords. Uh, but you know, when you have kings, they act out in the world. So the King of Swords devises an idea, but all kings are underwritten by the earth element. So they're all rooted in earth. So if the King of Swords has an idea with the earth element, the idea takes shape, it takes form, and then he brings that idea forth into the world. So he, he acts it out. He basically does what he's going to say. He does what he says. And the theme of the week is all about doing what you say. 
Okay, because I feel that Libra, this is actually your energy. This could be a person, yeah, the theme of the week is about someone here. Maybe you're dreaming about that person. Maybe you're aspiring to have an individual here. It could definitely be that. It depends on what the other cards, I guess, are saying. But also, the situation is some of you guys have been thinking and dreaming about what you want. You've been dreaming about your future, your desires, uh, your hopes and your dreams with this card here. Libra and the theme of the week is all about taking action in the outside world probably on an idea that you've had for quite some time uh, what is the key goal for the week that you have Libra death well your key goal is change irrevocable change with the death energy to bring a certain part of your life I think to a close so that you can move forward into another phase with the death energy what is your, and also the goal for the week is for transformation. So this is all about, I don't think it's personal transformation because you're not Scorpio, it's their card. But this is all about transformation in terms of your situation. That's the key goal. Your key goal is to basically to transform the situation because it is the card of transformation. Um, obstacle that you need to overcome though. So it is a queen of coins, Libra. I feel that there's an individual here involved in the situation. But if you think about it as well, what's interesting is that, okay, how can I explain this? So, so for example, this is you guys with the idea, the stars. You've got the idea, you've got the inspiration, you've got the dreams, you've got the hopes, you've got the wishes, and you're dreaming of being a star, for example. Okay, you want to go to Hollywood, or you want to go to London, or you want to go to a few auditions, that type of thing. It doesn't have to be that, I'm just giving you an example. And you say, well, the theme of the week is how am I going to make this happen with the King of Swords? I've got this idea. I have the courage of my convictions. It's going to happen. But the theme for the week for me is I've got to find a way that I'm going to make that happen. How am I going to turn the inspiration, the idea, the desire of the star energy, the visualization, the fantasy of the star energy, how am I going to turn it into a reality? Because the idea is all here in the King of Swords energy. But I need to have this take shape and to form into something real and tangible that I can actually kind of take out into the outside world. Well, your goal for the week is to uh, bring transformation into your life. But you might have a queen of coins. She's not a bad person, but she's more practical. So she's going to be the type of person, any one of the coin people, especially that king of coins and the queen of coins, they're going to be, there's two things that might be your obstacle. Number one, it might be stability, financial stability. So your obstacle might be, do you have enough money to go and do this, for example, with the Queen of Coins? Do you have enough clout with that Queen of Coins energy showing up here? Or it could be a person. Now, the Queen of Coins is more going to be kind of your accountant of the tarot she is because she's very realistic and she'll say okay well you've got this dream you want to put it out there but you know do you have enough money let me go through the accounts let me have a look at this let me look at you know th because this is very this is air energy of the king of swords and this is air energy of the star this is aquarius and uh and actually uh the king of swords actually they're both aquarius <laughs> i just forgot i just remembered they're both aquarius they're the fantasies they're the fan they're the fantasizers the dreamers uh you know um the free walkers of the zodiac you know these people like to think outside of the box so this is definitely something to do with an idea that you have i think because it's both ruled by this is aquarius energy and this is aquarius you know so this is all about you guys formulating an idea and wanting to see that idea take form taking it out into the world but your obstacle might be somebody who's quite practical about the whole thing who says, well, this is great, but, you know, where's the money coming from? Or how are you going to do it? Or how are you going to get the time to do it? Or, you know, well, how are you going to get to that big, big producer in Hollywood? You know, it's nice to have all of those wonderful dreams and, you know, to have all of those wonderful independent kind of, uh, you know, outside of the box ideas. But let's get down to earth about it. Let's get real about it. Where's the money going to come from for the travel? And how are you going to get in contact with this person? And what's the logistics of it? Which is what she's about. So here we have air energy, free thinking, ideas, fantasies, dreams. And then you've got the groundedness of the queen is your obstacle. Who's bringing everything back down to earth, unfortunately. So you need to overcome the obstacle. That, you know, there's going to be somebody around you who's going to be kind of like, well, this is great, but you know how are you actually going to do it in reality because they're going to try and bring everything down this is the card the queen king of swords being aquarius and also that aquarius card of the star uh, these are not the down-to-earth cards 
at least in this reading. He's not so bad, but she is like <laughs> away with the fairies. But it's good to have dreams. But you can even see that he's had, he's got the conviction. He's like, Ugh. you know, conviction off his dreams, basically. You see his fist, he's like, yes, I will, you know. But she's like, well, well how? And she's like, no, it's a good idea, but, but, you know, really, realistic. Let's just, let's be, look at this realistically, how kind of thing. So just know that you're going to have someone who's going to kind of challenge those ideals of yours. But it's not being nasty. It's more like they're saying, well, how are you literally going to do it? Because you say that you're going to do it, but how? What are the logistics? What are the plans? What are the strategies? Um, what could you be accomplishing? Well, the High Priestess. Um, and the High Priestess deals with the thoughts of the themes of intuition and understanding. So I feel that this is kind of, in this situation, what you're accomplishing this week with the High Priestess is an understanding on a deep level. Oh, but the other thing is you might be able to start putting some stuff. You might be able to start devising stuff behind the scenes. But she's not known. That's not for me. The only way that I look at the high priestess is doing things behind the scenes when she's doing things in secret or if it's pregnancy. If it's anything else, then what you could accomplish with the high priestess, it's more on a mental level and an intuitive level. It's more on a... When it's an on, on an intuitive level, it's about the ability to start understanding a situation. At a very deep level, and I think that what I think it's through this card of the Queen of Coins, what you're accomplishing is a far more deeper because these cards here, as lovely as they are, they can be very superficial when it comes to a thought. Not so much the King of Swords, but he's being aspected by that star. And just look at his hand, he's like, Yes, I will have this, I will, I have the conviction to do it. I've got the idea and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the idea out into the world and I'm going to show it and I'm going to make sure that it's, uh, you know, it becomes a reality because it's all he's rooted in earth. He's underscored by earth. All right. So he'll want his ideas to take shape and to take form. So in other words, he has an idea and he's going to want to act on it. And this is all about you guys having the dream and the desire to have a wish come true and you're dream doing a lot of dreams about it but the theme of the week is well how are you going to take the idea and you know put it out take action how are you going to take action on you know how are you going to you know you've devised the idea that's great you know exactly what you want but how are you going to put it into action that's the questioner of the queen of coins that's your obstacle you need to overcome somebody's bringing you down to earth and they're saying okay that's fine but how is this going to happen because you want big transformations your goal for the week is to bring something big and transformative about and what, but what you could be accomplishing is a deeper understanding of what it's going to take to achieve this. And it will be through that obstacle card of the Queen of Coins. Um, what do you need to avoid? Three of Wands. Well, waiting. Waiting maybe for something to happen. Your behaviour, not behaviour, your dream requires action. And you're going to have to fight. But you're going to have to kind of... Uh, I think that this lady showing here says that the obstacle you need to overcome is this person's groundedness. That this is great, but maybe there's a process to, what you're going to, to how you achieve this. And maybe, therefore, you need to avoid kind of waiting for your ships to come in or waiting for something amazing to happen so that you can have this dream and desire. All right? You're just going to have to kind of slowly but surely work towards whatever this thing is. What do you need to embrace? Uh, the hanged man. That this thing is going to take time. Can you see the clock? <laughs> You've got two clocks. You've got him looking at his clock saying, Oh, when are my ships coming in? When are they going to arrive? And you need to avoid that. Because uh, some of you guys, you know, it's a really... Tarot is... This is why I love tarot, uh, Libra. Because it's such a complex art. And how I read is very complex. You know, I try to go, I'm tr I try and be as nuanced as I can, because car because human beings are nuanced. You know, we're not all cut and dried. Here you have the dream, there you guys are, the star, dreaming, wishing. You have this high aspiration to achieve a goal with the star energy, and you're dreaming about being that star as well for some of you guys. Being in a place of high honour and recognition. And the theme of the week is, well... I've got the idea of this, but I want to, and I have the conviction for it, but how do I put it into action? Because it might be something to do with finances, for example. And whilst your goal is to have complete transformation or to, you know, bring some form of transformation into your life, you need to overcome the obstacle that there's somebody who's going to bring you down to earth with a bump and say, this is all good, but 
you know, where are you going to get the money to do this? Or how are you going to do it? What are your processes? What are your plans? What are your strategies? Because she's all of those things. But I think this high priestess is because this person says this, you're kind of, uh, the accomplishment is you're actually starting to understand and see clearly, which is what the high priestess does, because you've got the moon behind you here as well. So you're starting to understand on a very sort of deep level that this is not something that you can just blah 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 do it like that this is something that requires a process and you need to avoid and this is where it comes in because some of you guys will say well i really want to accomplish you so you know maybe i could wait to win the lottery maybe with this you know or i could wait to be discovered or something like this but the universe is saying well no you need to avoid waiting looking at the clock and waiting for your ships to come in so you can get this and you need to embrace that it will come with time. And remember the hangman, because he moves slowly, this is all about gradual movement. So everything is gradual. There's two things you need to embrace. Avoid waiting for your ships to come in and embrace that maybe, number one, you're going to have to do things in a different way and think outside the box a little bit more with the hangman energy. Because this is looking at things from a different perspective. But also you need to embrace that this is going to be gradual movement towards your goals and success it's not going to happen as quickly as you want and you've been told this twice in the reading here and here um what is the uh what is the uh, uh where can you find support if you need it well people that you work with probably the five of wands five of wands isn't always fighting sometimes it's people that you work with you know it's your friends, it's your teammates, it's the people that you have a laugh with sometimes, the five of wands is. So if you need advice and support, go there. Um, what is the spiritual advice? Universe spirit, what is the spiritual advice for Libra on this reading? Give me a sentence. Right, there you go. One came out. Do you see? Check out. Trust. It's telling you to trust. It's going to happen, Libra. It will happen. Just came out. I was shuffling and it flicked itself out. I'm only going to use this. Just trust. Right, that's why you guys are like, oh, I need to wait for my ship to come in. Or maybe I'll win the lottery and then I can do in this. Or, or maybe this will happen and then I can do this. And the universe is saying, look, you're going to have to embrace, number one, uh, you might need to try and think of how you can do this in a completely different way, which is to uh, do a review of your plans and your strategies, which, is, which really should have kind of been initiated through the Queen of Coins in the obstacle position, because she's grounding the air energy here. She's grounding everything. That's your obstacle. You want to kind of think, oh, yeah, yeah, I'm going to be a star. I'm going to go to New York. I'm going to go to Hollywood. And so-and-so is going to see me and blah, blah. But, you know, the <laughs> Queen of Coins is your obstacle. It's probably not what you want to hear either. He's going to say, well, this is great, but, you know, I mean, do you know how, many co how much it costs to, you know, uh, rent a home or, you know, to travel here or travel there do you know how much money it's going to cost or do you know how long it's going to take what about your job what about this what about it she's really going to lay it to you realistically what this is going to take okay yeah of course you want the big transformation there's nothing wrong with that but you're accomplishing an understanding now through the queen of coins even though she comes up in the article position it's because of your own it's your own problem really because you don't want to hear this you want to do this you want to hear this but you're accomplishing an understanding, a deep understanding with that high priestess energy of what this person is saying. And, and don't expect that a lottery win or anything unrealistic is going to rescue you. You need to avoid that with the three of wands. Because there is no rescue here. Because everything will be done in time, the hangman. And part of that is looking and revising those plans with the hangman showing up here. Okay. And that's why you need to have trust. Because even if it things that you feel that, oh shit, my hands are tied, nothing's going to happen, there's going to be no movement, blah, 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 blah. The universe is saying, well, no, things are moving, but you just need to trust it's going to happen. It's just probably not going to happen in the time allotted that you want, okay? All right, but it will happen, all right? Simple as that. It's going to happen, but just trust that it will happen, okay? Don't get too much in your feelings about it. it's not going to happen. Libra, you've just got to trust that it will, and it will at some point, and the universe will give you the signs, it will give you the signals, and it will give you the resources that you need when it's time to give you those things. All right, uh, bear with me, just going to do your quick 15 card reading. Here we go.
Okay, Libra, cards out. Let's have a look. Uh, okay, Knight of Cups could be an offer or a new romantic interest for some of you guys uh, coming in over the next few days. Uh, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, definitely with the lover's energy, I'm seeing a new romantic interest. You've got the lovers and the Knight of Cups is usually new. So there's somebody new coming in to your love life, Libra, that lover's energy showing up there. Um, very sexual, very seductive with that devil energy showing up here. Uh, this is also a commitment as well. It might be that you're offered Knight of Cups energy as an offer romantic commitment. The devil and the lovers can also be a very strong romantic commitment as well together. Uh, that devil in a love reading though is very sexual, very hot, very passionate energy with the devil energy showing there. Uh, Knight of Cups, it's funny how these two cards came out because they showed up for Gemini through a different deck when I just did them. The Knight of Coins and the devil energy. Um... Okay, he's not facing into the devil, because sometimes an eye coins is not good when it's aspected by that devil. It shows somebody who is, uh, has an earthly desire for the finer things in life, the sex, the superficial. It's not particularly deep uh, with those two cards here. Uh, sometimes this is the workaholic, the devil, and the knight of coins. But this is like two cards that mean also commitment as well. Uh, Queen of Swords, which Libra is you. This is uh, demanding. This is you, being the Queen of Swords. Um, it's interesting because we've got kind of three court cards. We've got the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Coins, and also you, the Queen of Swords. Uh, you've got your back turned to one, two, three, four. And I'm wondering if you are disconnecting emotionally. Usually she speaks. But I get the impression that you're disconnecting emotionally from the Knight of Coins, the Devil, and this relationship, and also a Knight of Cups as well. Uh, romantic interest, relationship. I get the impression that I feel here intuitively, because you're the last card, uh, Libra, and you. this is actually your court card, the Queen of Swords, and you've got your back. Usually when I see this Queen of Swords in any deck, and she has her back turned to a whole seat of cards or even a card behind her. For me, she's disconnecting. And this is definitely you. So I get the impression this is a week for you guys disconnecting from a knight of coins. I feel that this person probably could have been quite controlling as well with that devil energy uh, in the relationship with the lovers. So I actually feel that there could have been a controlling element to this individual showing here. Uh, the Knight of Coins in a love reading is somebody who either takes a long time to do stuff or they're extraordinarily obsessive as well. With the devil, they can be quite obsessive as well. Uh, and Because you can see here, he's dedicated and the devil is somebody who can be quite obsessive. So I feel that you're probably disconnecting from a very obsessive lover here. Okay, you've got the Knight of Cups as well. So this person's romantic, but I feel that this is you disconnecting from somebody who's at times probably quite romantic. But I feel with the lovers being the relationship and this is, or the lover, uh, Knight of Coins and the Devil looks to be a very obsessive lover. Some of you guys disconnecting from a very obsessive lover. The Knight of Cups, this person was romantic, but I feel that they used, they were probably quite manipulative as well, I would say. So I get the impression that you guys are probably disconnecting from a bit of a manipulative and obsessive lover this week, um, Libra. Because the devil is obsessive energy. This is somebody who is very uh, hardworking, he's committed, and he doesn't stop. So he's always banging away at something. And this is the lover card, and this is romance. Okay, so I think that you're disconnecting Queen of Swords energy from a romance. Uh, Knight of Cups with a very obsessive lover. Okay, that's what I think that some of you guys, I think that's love happening this week. In the actual love reading, uh, we've got the five of coins. So five of coins means abandonment and pushing someone out in the cold uh, with the five of coins and also illness. Um, Queen of Cups. I feel some of you guys have been feeling depressed probably with that five of coins energy and you might be speaking to a friend about this with the Queen of Cups probably because you've had to turn your back on a really obsessive lover showing up here. Somebody who was quite charming, but also very obsessive. And you might be feeling really depressed that you had to abandon this individual. Getting the impression that you're talking to a friend here with the Queen of Cups energy showing up. Yeah, Three of Swords, you're heartbroken. 
probably speaking to a friend about how heartbroken you are with that Three of Swords energy showing up. The past, Six of Cups energy showing here. Yeah, uh, King of Coins, that's interesting. Same as the suit as the Knight of Coins. Uh, you're probably heartbroken because you had a very strong connection with this individual, uh, Libra. Because I think that this Knight of Coins is explaining who this King of Coins is. I think it's the same reading. I think this is all love in this area here. Okay. I feel that you guys have disconnected. Okay. From an obsessive Devil and the Knight of Coins energy lover. All right. Um, romantic interest is the Knight of Cups. So disconnected from a romantic interest this person was a very obsessive devil and the knight of coins lover you didn't like that this person it's almost like they were a little bit freaky for some of you guys are a little bit too full on you're like well why are they so obsessive about this uh and i feel that there is some depression here with this five of coins energy because you've had to abandon this individual i feel that you're talking to a friend about how heartbroken you are because you did feel that you and this individual had a past connection had a real past connection. But, it, you know, sometimes we feel like this about people, but sometimes we get it wrong. It's almost like you feel, shit, how could I have got it so wrong? And you can see that your picture is here in the background as well. You, you know, you, you did have a really strong connection and you're really upset about how close the connection was with this person and the fact that you felt that maybe you had a past life connection to this individual but i feel that you had to give up on this individual for some of you guys you have had to get or you'll give up this week or uh, maybe within the next two weeks because they're becoming unbearable really unbearable uh and also it might be not just that they're obsessive it might be that you're disconnecting from uh somebody who has a problem uh, in terms of commitment too, in a way, because the Knight of Coins can be somebody who has an earthly desire for drink and drugs and sex and women and all the rest of it. And it might be that you're disconnecting from this person. Maybe there was a third party situation with a Queen of Cups, with another individual, and you kicked this person out because of that. Maybe this person wanted everything, the King of Coins. He wants everything. He wants all the abundance. He wants everything. Maybe this person was a regular Don Juan, the Knight of Cups energy, third party with a Queen of Cups. And some of you guys are discussing with a friend how unhappy you are and upset you are because you actually thought that you had a really strong connection and even a past life connection with this individual. They seemed straight up, but they weren't. Could also be that. Let's have a look at work and stuff. So for work, we've got the moon. There might be some doubt, uh, some anxieties. Also, the moon can be hidden enemies in a reading. I hope you can see that because I'm not getting fully everything on the screen. The moon. Uh, the Hierophant energy. So when it comes to the Hierophant in work, this is about a course. Uh, this is about learning something with the Hierophant energy. Um Corporate environments as well of here. Uh, the Ten of Cups energy. I get the impression that some of you guys might be with this moon energy uncertain as to when you're going to complete with that Ten of Cups energy, a particular course with the Hierophant energy at work. Some of you guys are doing a course or something, but you're not certain when you're going to be able to complete it. Uh, yeah, Eight of Coins and the Hierophant. This is like um, a workshop or learning a course for work. But this is all about completing some form of learning or um, course that you've been doing for, you know, to improve on your work, that type of thing, improve on your skills. Eight of Coins is improving on skills, mastering skills, and this is learning how to master skills. Some of you guys might also be worried um, about being able to master some skills or learning something in terms of mastering skills. But I think this is more about being worried with that moon energy or maybe... Uh, being in some form of doubt or there could be some anxiety it looks to me because it's worked with the Hierophant energy could be to do with learning something it's a course and it's to do with your work the Eight of Coins mastering and improving on skills maybe this is completing a course completion Ten of Cups a course Hierophant uh, in terms of you know improving on some skills a workshop as well with the Eight of Coins energy showing up here yeah I thought with the Nine of Swords there's a great deal of worry here it's almost like you're worried about whether you're going to pass a test or something like that or whether you're going to be able to finish your course it's within work uh, this week for some of you guys. Let's have a quick look at the advice cards, Libra. Um, right, so for love, uh, which I think is in these two areas here, 
where I feel that you had to get rid of someone either because they were obsessive or they were all about kind of the earthly pleasures. They were very driven by their earthly pleasures of the, and this is pleasure and this is earth. So they were very kind of connected to earthly pleasures here. Could have been a third party with another individual here. You guys crying to your friend there uh, that you've got a kind of like um, a very um, pleasure seeking lover, for example, somebody who is nice but they can't necessarily be trusted they're very wishy-washy with that knight of cups you've had to cast them out and you say i'm really upset because i felt that we had a really deep past life connection with this individual what is the advice that you have for libra on this situation what is the advice that you have for libra on this situation um soulmates it's just saying that this is your soulmate sorry guys if it resonates with you it's just said that it's your soulmate okay um what can uh, what can they do what can libra do about the situation though saying yes this is your soulmate it says express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture i don't know what it means by that i don't know it depends you know maybe i get the impression within this reading that some of you guys are starting to emotionally detach from such a person um it depends on whether it's real and it depends on whether this is something that you can put up with because I think that this person has done stuff and it doesn't meet your expectations because you're really upset with that three of swords because you felt that you had a real connection to this person, you know, a real past life connection to this king of coins, an upstanding person, you know, somebody who was traditional and somebody who you felt wanted to settle down as much as you wanted to settle down and stuff like that. But I feel that because... They are very much drawn to their desires for fun and for, you know, pleasure in that. Uh, for some of you guys, it almost feels like, you know, I don't really want this. I didn't know, you know, I'm really upset with this person because I think that this person might have been seen with this Queen of Cups energy here. And you're saying to a friend, I'm really upset because I've had to kind of cast them out or I've had to kind of freeze this person out. Because I thought that we had a really strong connection between us. So, but the cards seem to be saying, in terms of that uh, quest, in terms of that reading, Libra, that this person is still your soulmate, and you need to express your love to them. I don't know. It's interesting. It's what the angels are saying. So I don't know whether you're over embellishing anything in the situation, or you know, are you imagining some stuff? Is some of it not completely real? What you're imagining? I'm not sure here. But it's saying that you need to express your love. Maybe there's some. Uh, so there's some more life in the situation potentially let's have a quick look at what the uh, abundance card is saying in terms of your work because i feel that this is more about worry and fear and anxiety with the moon energy and also as something that's unknown with the moon energy it's to do with the course because you've got the hierophant and the eight of coins and sometimes this is like a course learning something learning about advancing skills and you're worried about that whether you're going to complete it with the ten of cups energy there's a lot of worry going on with that nine of swords two cards indicating worry uh, moon and the uh, nine of swords two cards indicating it's to do with a course or learning something to advance your skills uh, workshops uh, hierophant and the eight of coins and a card saying am i going to complete it because it's the ten of cups so you're uncertain about that what uh, advice do you have for do you have any advice concerning this if you don't have any advice then we'll take any advice you have in terms of work and finance for libra uh it says raise all promotion it says Congratulations and increasing your abundance flow awaits you. This is a result of your positive focus and willingness to take action based on your divine guidance. Keep up the good work. So it's good. I mean, you're definitely going to get that raise. And it might be that, you know, with this Hierophant, you've been studying really hard with that Hierophant energy in terms of advancing your skills because you want the raise and the promotion. And you might be worried, shit, I don't know whether I'm going to complete this. But don't worry, if you don't complete it now, you'll complete it later. You're going to have that raise or promotion because you are, you're obviously very dedicated to doing this. But it might simply be that certain things stand in the way. But don't worry, you will achieve that. Uh, we'll get a quick tea leaf reading for you, Libra, and just see what the, uh, what the angels have to say um, to you. Uh, okay, Universe Spirit, can you just show me what is the advice? Three cards, please, advice for Libra. Okay, let's have a look. Uh, right, Apple. Temptation is going to test you, apparently. Could be something around the lover area. Uh, Eagle. Triumph over trouble, which is nice. Which I think is in this area here, and probably in this area here. And 
mice, but there might be discord amongst family and friends. That might be in the love area here as well, okay? So don't worry, even though there might be some discord over family and friends, I do feel that you're going to triumph over obstacles, okay? Uh, but just be careful because that's temptation of the devil. The temptation might test you all the same, okay? All right, that's your reading, uh, Libra, for the next week. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. If you would like your own private reading, just click on the comment section below. Go through to my website or in the video at the end of the, of the reading. All right, that's it. Take care. Bye-bye.